Hey, what is going on guys? It is Hawksness here, back with another Rules of Survival video. Uh, now today we're doing a video uh, where I have a really good game here for you guys and in the end I made a big mistake and I just wanted to go over it and uh, Well, first of all the whole like first half I think is pretty entertaining because I get a lot of kills and it goes really well for me And then at the end I made some mistakes and I wanted to go over that uh, to help you guys kind of improve your game Just learn from my mistakes so you don't make uh, the same mistakes yourself um, Yeah, so basically uh, this game starts out uh, with me just landing next to this like one other guy or as far as I knew I only saw one other guy uh, so I land in one house he lands in the other and immediately I go try to find a weapon so I can actually have a chance at fighting this guy because uh, I didn't know if he was gonna rush me right away or if I was gonna have to rush him uh, but so anyway I get the gun uh, I don't see him I can't hear him at this point so I go inside hoping that he'll just be like sitting in a corner and I can get him I make sure to like look around make sure I'm not gonna get shotgunned in the face from the corner uh, and then right here, I'm actually just listening because I can hear his footsteps walking around me. So I'll be quiet so you can hear that. And then coming up here, I decide to make my move. Uh, so I exit the house and just try to find him. And basically, we just play Ring Around the Rosie for a few seconds here. I don't even know where he was because we were literally just going in circles. I, I think we, like we were actually playing Ring Around the Rosie. Uh, but yeah, then you guys can see what happens next. Uh, yeah, so that was the fight. So basically I hit him with a shotgun once and then got another one off after a reload uh, And then I'm looting and I actually see this guy just run by and I one tap with a shotgun I don't know if he was low or not. The only loot he had was a level 2 backpack uh, So the fight was uncontested and obviously obviously I was gonna win that uh, But yeah, then after I loot those houses uh, I start running to an airdrop that I see and this is where the fun really begins So as soon as I get to the airdrop, I can see a car rolling up and uh, I actually try to fight these guys. I don't want to, I'm trying not to spoil too many things. I would also let you know what was going through my head. So I see the guy on the bike. I try to take a few shots as he leaves, which is honestly probably not the best idea because then I alert people of where I am. So just a suggestion for you guys, if you want to take random shots at someone, sometimes you'll get lucky and hit them, but most of the time you'll just end up giving away your position, which I did here, and another guy ends up fighting me. Uh, so I would just suggest not taking random shots like that unless you want to bring uh, the fight to you. So this is where a guy starts shooting me and I jump hopefully to like evade his shots and luckily I do and I'm uh, able to reposition and actually take this guy on one on one. So right there I saw him jump and he's just jumping around looking for me. Uh, so I decide I'm going to push him because I'm full health now and I actually know where he is and he has no idea where I am. Uh, and then also I'm running right through the red zone which is not normally a good idea. So I see his footsteps here. I know he's in the house so I just try to rush him. Luckily, I get that uh, that one bop with the shotgun, uh, and then I'm able to loot him, and he had pretty good stuff also. So from this guy, I actually get an SVD too, and uh, this is my first real time using the gun. Uh, so I hear a guy by the airdrop right here, and he starts riding away in a bike or a doom buggy or whatever. Uh, actually, yeah, bike. And I take some random shots here, and also, again, not a good idea to do that, especially if it's not silenced, because you're going to let people know exactly where you are. Luckily, that didn't get me killed here, but just a suggestion, don't do that. So then I hear another car roll up and this guy I decide to take on with my M4 suppress and I hit him like a good I think three times here and then he actually ends up dying right there to someone else so I didn't know where this guy that killed him was so I decided to get back in the house reposition uh, try to figure out where he was uh, and then right here he comes up from the top in a car I think this is the guy shooting at him. So I take shots at this guy, uh, I hit him I think like twice or something, I whipped a lot of shots. Uh, and then at this point, I uh, I knew that he was going to hide behind the car metting up, so I just decided to blow up the car to at least either kill him or flush him out so that I could fight him with my gun and uh, he would be low because he, he's obviously you can't med and then get killed, you know what I mean? You're not going to med if you're about to get blown up. So if this guy was smart at all, he would back away from the car, which he does. Uh, he doesn't die here, so I decided to push up on him. And uh, honestly, this was not a good idea because then he has an easy shot at me because I have no cover. But luckily, he whiffed all his shots and I'm able to hit him a few times and uh, here's the result. So there we go, we get him. And yeah, that was close. He only hit me like once or twice, but I, I was whiffing a lot of shots. And then from his body, I also got an 8 times and some other good loot. So uh, it was definitely worth looting him. Okay, at this point, I'm trying the SVD out. Uh, I get on top of a roof. This is a really nice roof because nobody can shoot you from behind because no one's elevated enough. And you have a really good view of the road. 
Uh, so this is my first kill with the SVD and it only took two shots So I don't know if the guy was full health or not, but so far like I was thinking wow This gun's crazy It only took two shots and the recoil really wasn't that bad for being a sniper and also the fire rate was pretty good So right here a nade just blew up behind me So I'm like a guy must have thrown it behind me. So I check and clearly there's a guy right there uh, So I'm just trying to figure out how I'm gonna shoot him and then I see him pull his arm back right there So I knew he threw another nade uh, So I just back off to make sure it doesn't get me and turns out it was actually just a flash grenade. So I decided to push this guy, or not necessarily push him, but fight him at least. And uh, yeah, that's how it goes. So I whipped a few shots there, but once again, it was only two shots with the SVD. So I came two shots and a kill both times. So this gun was definitely super impressive. And then right here, I just see a guy laying down, and once again, bop, bop, and he's dead. So now we're at seven kills, three with SVD, and all three of the kills with SVD were only two shots. So as far as I know, this thing is a beast. Then we see this guy running by the tree, and I think I hit him once or twice, and then he goes behind a tree. And for whatever reason, he just hides behind the tree for a long time, which is pretty smart. But then when he starts to run away, he just disappears. Literally just poofs, vanishes. I don't know where he went, so I didn't get the chance to actually kill him. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if that was him glitching out or bug or what happened there, but I, I don't actually get him Okay, then here uh, the guy that I killed behind me uh, I decided to loot because the circle was closed and hopefully no one will be outside the circle That's just my thought process, which is pretty safe to assume so I loot him I get some meds nothing crazy, but overall I think it was a pretty safe decision to do that Okay, so right here I accidentally shoot and uh, because of this I had to reposition immediately just in case people like saw me shoot or heard me shoot and they like looked in my direction I just wanted to move away from there as fast as I could so that I don't get sniped from really far away or anything uh, And up here at this house I see a guy go behind the house So I try to reposition behind this tree uh, so that I have some cover and then as I push up to this house I have no idea where he is so I'm just kind of gauging and trying to listen uh, and I'll, I'll stop talking right here So you guys can just kind of feel what I was feeling at the moment and try to figure out where he is Okay, so I don't see him in the house or anything, so what I decided to do is just push up, uh, and because I'm kind of assuming he's going to the crate or something, so I try to keep my eyes on the crate and look around. Uh, I don't see him at the crate, so I behind this, go behind this tree up here as cover. Now, before I resume the video, I just want to bring up two tips that I said in my tips and tricks video. Our fourth tip is the only time you should stand still is when your head is protected from one to two angles. Another tip that, now this thing is huge because I've got killed so many times by not doing this. Always check bushes and grass. When you're moving around, always be just looking at bushes and grass all the time, especially bushes because people will be sitting in bushes and you won't notice until, they, you're, until you're dead because you'll just walk up right next to them and they'll shoot you. That's happened to me so many times. So just always be checking bushes. Just make it a habit to just, if you see a bush, make sure no one's in it, clear it and you're good. All right, now I'm gonna play the clip and you can see exactly where I went wrong. All right, so basically what I did wrong is I didn't know where a guy was, so I didn't have all the information on my opponent, and I decided to lay down, first of all, and not check bushes. So those were two of my biggest tips that I made in the video, and I didn't follow them at all. I laid down, kept my head stationary so it was an easy target, and then I didn't check bushes for people. Because there wasn't a lot of trees around me, so I just assumed nobody was next to me, and I totally forgot that people could just be sitting in bushes. So once again, always check bushes, Never stand still unless you know you're completely safe. Sometimes you can risk it and sometimes you'll get away with it. But as a general rule, I would not stand still ever. Just always try to stay moving unless you have to be really, like, really stealthy. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I hope it kind of helped you guys out. Decided to mix some uh, tips and tricks along with some gameplay. Uh, maybe this will work out as a series or something where I just critique my own videos. And then another idea that I had, if you guys are still uh, watching the video, you can comment down below. Tell me if you like this idea. Uh, is I was thinking maybe you guys could submit to me your videos 
and I could analyze them for you and like upload it as a video. So if someone gets like 20 kills or something and then dies at the end, I could just analyze it or so I don't know exactly how it would work, but I just thought it'd be cool if maybe like you guys could send me clips and I could even make like a highlight video of uh, your guys' videos. So if you if you have a, like a really cool clip, you can just comment down below and say, hey, that'd be cool. I, would, I have clips for you uh, if I want to make it on your channel or something like that. And I'll, uh, I'll definitely consider it because I think it'd be really cool to do kind of like a community highlight reel uh, for this game. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below uh, what you want to see and if you like the ideas that I just mentioned. I know I didn't explain them perfectly because I haven't really developed them into full ideas. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and you like my content. And I'm out. Peace.